power shot or absolute power shot charging sidestep or dodge bolt focus shot or aerial aim which one is stronger to use and which one's best for your play style i'm going to cover the bow silk find moves and skills and how to best utilize them and we're going to start right now. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about Monster Hunter Rise and other video games, aerial aim combo that like subscribe button. I know you have a bow skill that's really satisfying to use. For me personally, it's aerial aim. What's your satisfying skill? Put it in the comments below. Let's get into it. Monster Hunter Rise introduced the wire bug mechanic, which allows players to zip and zoom across distances and make traversal easier. Capcom also added silkbind moves and skills for each weapon. This helps each weapon to augment their offensive and defensive capabilities. Let's go over some of the Monster Hunter bow skills here at the training area. One is called the charging sidestep. You do this by having your weapon out by pressing X or ZR. You hold down ZL and use the left stick plus B to do a charging sidestep. The charging sidestep has some evasion possibilities and you can charge step in four directions. Forward, backward, left, and right. An additional benefit of the charging sidestep is that it increases your charge level. For example, my bow levels are spread three, spread three, pierce four, pierce four. That means if I dash dance once and then press the ZR button, that's the second spread. If I shoot once, charging sidestep, I should be at my third shot, which should be pierce. Level one, charge, three. So by using charging sidestep, you can keep your bow shots always at the highest level possible so you can deal the most amount of DPS. Like that. You can switch the skill at the item box, change switch skill, and the charging sidestep can go into dodge bolt. Dodge Bolt is activated the same exact way as Charging Sidestep, but acts a little differently. While doing a Dodge Bolt, you will actively use your arrow to do melee swipes. Also, the Dodge Bolt uses a lot less stamina than the Charging Sidestep. But if you have enough constitution, it will greatly reduce the stamina cost of your Charging Sidestep. The Dodge Bolt moves less of a distance than Sidestep, but comes with iframes. I'd advise using skills such as Evade Window, extends the invulnerability period of evading, and Evade Extender increases Evade Distance while using Dodge Bolt. As you see, it greatly increases its mobility. And also, it makes evading attacks a lot easier. If you really want to utilize the combos, what you want to do is utilize Power Shot, because it can be quite powerful. Your combos can only build up to the amount of shot levels you have, like I have four right now. And then after shot four, it will reset back to one. One, two, three, four, back to one. You can extend your highest shot level by pressing power shot twice in a row. This costs you stamina, but if you don't have any stamina to spare, you can still do two additional power shots. You can use the power shot by pressing any A button after any type of shot. One, two, three, four, power shot, power shot. If you have enough stamina, you can also extend your highest shot level by sidestepping or dodge bolting until you have no more stamina left, and then you can unleash your power shots. One, two, three, Four, level four, level four, level four, power, power. At the item box, you can upgrade your power shots with the change switch skill to absolute power shots. This shot is like your standard power shot, but will cost more stamina, but potentially stun your target. So essentially it's free exhaust coatings if you use your power shot ability. So if you do the absolute power shot at the face, you will eventually get a knockout. Like that. One of the first silk find moves you're given is focus shot. You do this by having your weapon out, pressing the R button and the X button at the same time. This comes with certain abilities. For one, you are able to avoid any type of ground sweeping attack with your aerial move, and it can be used to recharge your stamina, like this. Very quick, since normally it recharges like this. Pretty slow. Eventually, you can change this skill to aerial aim. You're gonna wanna use aerial aim. You activate it the same way by having your weapon out, pressing R and X. To better utilize this move, you can hold down the ZL button so that you can aim each shot. Like this. Otherwise, you get something like this. You have no idea what happens. Aerial aim also uses shot levels based on the level that you're currently on. So if you just do a neutral aerial aim, I got like 494. Or if I go to the max level, 3, 4. I get 589 and on top of that you can also end the combo with the x button which is a melee slam attack 
And for what I noticed, these level four shots, which I'm hitting about 29 or 35, hit for more damage when you're using aerial aim. One more Silkbind move is Herculean Draw, which you can use by pressing the R button and the A button at the same time with your weapon out. Herculean Draw also augments your attack power by 10%. Right now, my attack power is 186 RNA. Now I'm at 202, that's huge. But be careful, Herculean Draw costs you two wire bugs. So unless you have a third, you won't be able to wire fall or use aerial aim. So be very careful when using this skill. Another bow skill you can use is the arc shot. The arc shot can be used by holding down the ZR button and pressing the A button. You release a rain of some type of buff effect. There are three types of arc shots, represented as recovery, which is represented by this green rain, gradually restores health for a short period of time. There's affinity, which is represented by red rain, increases affinity for a short period of time. And there's brace, which is represented by orange rain, which negates knockback for a short period of time. These buffs can be used for yourself or they can be used for your teammates that may be fighting right next to the monster. I know that there's a debate on what's better, sidestepping or by using dodge bolt. Sidestepping can increase your damage by a lot by constantly having you attack in your highest level shot over and over and over again. And also is more mobile. Dodge bolting does have its iframes if you're able to get it down, but the dodge bolt does not charge your shot. So we won't be getting off as many shots as possible, but it does cost less stamina to use. Sidestep or dodge bolt, which do you prefer using? Put it in the comments down below. Currently, I like using sidestep. I like the damage boost it gives. It's just, it can be constant. It's just ridiculous. Or maybe when I become a better player, I'll choose dodge bolt. I don't know. But what I do know is getting this level four shot is super important. You can get to it in two sidesteps and you can just constantly keep firing level four shots. And man, just the damage just keeps coming. Even with aerial aim, it's still level four, level four, level four. It's crazy. I have a video right here that can show you how to unlock that level four shot. Thank you for watching another Pokeboogie video. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.